Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everybody, welcome to this new lesson. This is Mr. Hamad Aql. Before we start this lesson, I will let you watch a part of the video. I want you to figure out who are those people in the picture? Where are they from? What did they make? How did they make it? And how can this change the people's lives? What kind of air fresheners do you use in your house? Is it expensive? How much is it? What smell does it produce? And do you think it has some uh, consequences about the people's health? Is it healthy or not? Proses produksinya juga tidak rumit. Pertama kali kotoran sapi yang sudah dikumpulkan dilarutkan dalam air. Setelah encer, dipras melalui tiga tahapan hingga menghasilkan seperempat liter air yang kemudian dicampur cairan antiseptik dan air kelapa. Hasil pencampuran ini kemudian disuling atau didestilasi untuk memisahkan kandungan zatnya. Penyelingan ini akan menghasilkan cairan bening bahan mengharum ruangan. Istimewanya lagi, bahan dasar ini bila diekstrak dengan buah-buahan akan menghasilkan parfum dengan aroma buah. Kita coba bersama dengan pihak ketiga. Dengan harapan bisa diproduksi, baik di tingkat lokal, syukur bisa di tingkat e, nasional. Para peternak sapi di Lamongan juga merasa senang kotoran sapi yang biasanya dibuang dan dibakar dapat menghasilkan barang bermanfaat. Apalagi produk pengharum ruangan memiliki nilai jual yang tinggi. Hello everyone, welcome to this new literature lesson. Today we will continue talking about one of the selections mentioned in Unit 5. As you remember, Unit 5 is divided into three categories. The first one is whole class learning, the second one is small group learning, and the third category is independent learning. The essential question is in this unit is, are inventions realized through inspiration or perspiration? The selection that we will focus on is called Fermented Cow Dung Air Freshener Wins Two Students' Top Science Prize, written by Kimberly Mark. The type of this text is web article, means it's taken from the internet. What is a web article? It's an electronic article. Electronic articles or web articles are articles in scholarly journals or magazines that can be accessed via electronic transmission. Electronic articles can be found in online only journals. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer the comprehension check questions, discuss or reply or think of the essential question, are inventions realized through inspiration or perspiration? First read, read this non-fiction selection and use this graphic organizer to record your first ideas. Notice the general ideas of the text, what's this text about and who is involved. You should be also able to annotate. How do you annotate? By marking vocabulary and key passages you want to revisit. Connect the ideas with the selection to what you already know and what you have already read. Last thing in the respond, last thing in the first read is to respond by completing the comprehension check and by writing a brief summary of the selection. This is how your text should look like after you read it for the first time. You should have stars, exclamation marks, question marks, circles, and uh, dashes under context clue. For the analyze the text, you need to think of uh, the author's choices of patterns, structures, techniques, and ideas included in the text. Select only one and record your thoughts about what this choice conveys. In the quick write, you pick a paragraph from the text that grabbed your interest and explain the power of this text or this paragraph. Fermented cow dung air freshener wins two students' top science prize, Kimberly Mock. Kimberly Mock's blog article, Fermented Cow Dung Air Freshener Wins Two Students' Top Science Prize, reports on an organic air freshener made by treating cow dung. 
Most commercial air fresheners contain potentially harmful chemicals. Two Indonesian students decided to make a more organic product. The young women extracted the water from fermented manure and mixed it with coconut water. They then distilled the liquid to eliminate impurities. The result is an inexpensive natural air freshener with an herbal aroma. The cow dung air freshener won top prize for the two students in Indonesia's Science Project Olympiad. So, believe it or not, the girls made air freshener from cow dung. Would you like to try it? Let's see whether you trust these scientific experiments or not. Fermented cow dung air freshener wins two students' top science prize by Kimberly Mock, web article. Background. Air fresheners are commonplace in many homes and offices, promoting an image of cleanliness and health. But many of these products contain phthalates, hazardous chemicals suspected to cause hormonal abnormalities, birth defects, and reproductive problems. Out of 14 common air fresheners, phthalates showed up in 86% of them, including those claiming to be all natural. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, the majority of people in the United States are exposed to at least five different phthalates on a regular basis. About the author. Based in Montreal, Quebec, Kimberly Mock is a writer, graphic artist, and designer who covers arts and culture for publications such as Tree Hugger, The New Stack, and The Huffington Post. Mock has also worked in conventional and sustainable design firms in New York City, Toronto, and India on projects ranging from residential high-rises and storm-resistant homes to compressed earth block structures. Fermented Cow Dung Air Freshener wins two students' top science prize by Kimberly Mock. Conventional air fresheners are known for their toxic soup of chemicals that may be linked with asthma, reproductive disorders, and even lung disease. While there's no shortage of environmentally friendly and human-healthy air fresheners on the market, two Indonesian science students are behind a rather bizarre concoction that you may be seeing soon. An affordable air freshener made from cow dung. Yes, cow dung, as weird as it sounds, the formulation actually has a pleasant herbal smell and has won Dwai Nilal Iza and Rintia Aprianti Miki a gold medal at Indonesia's Science Project Olympiad, ISPO. According to Oddity Central, the young women overcame 1,000 other competitors with their surprising freshener which was painstakingly created by collecting unused cow manure from a cattle farm and fermenting it for three days. Then they extracted the water from the fermented manure and mixed it with coconut water. Finally, they distilled the liquid to eliminate all impurities. The whole process took seven days, which is pretty long, but in the end, they obtained what they were looking for a liquid air freshener with an herbal aroma from digested cow food. The high schoolers will be filing a patent for their ingenious creation, which will not only cost half the price of similar products, 21,000 rupee or 2 U.S. dollars for 225 grams, but is also healthier, explains Dwai Nadal Iza. Our air freshener is not supplemented with chemicals to smell fragrant. It's pure and smells like the natural plants fed to cows. It's also healthier because it doesn't contain harmful ingredients, such as benzoacetan, like most other air fresheners on the market. The pair will be bringing their cow poop air freshener to compete at the International Environment Project Olympiad, INEPO, held in Istanbul, Turkey, during May. Now think of the answer to these questions. Describe the process of making cow dung air freshener. Number two, what health problems in humans may be caused by conventional air fresheners? When we say conventional air fresheners, we mean the um, common air fresheners we use at our homes, not the organic ones. Number three, how long does the whole process of making 
the cap dung air freshener take from start to finish. To confirm your understanding, write a summary of fermented cap dung air freshener wins to students' top science prize. Stop the video and think of the answers to these questions. Question number one. The process involves collecting cow dung, fermenting it, extracting the water from it, mixing it with coconut water, and distilling it to eliminate impurities. Question number two. Conditions mentioned in the article include asthma, a reproductive disorder, and lung disease. The answer to question number three should be that the process takes only seven days. Number four, in order to write a summary of this selection or of this text, you should mention information about the girl, the two girls, and their invention, the process of making the air freshener, the prize they won, the benefits of their production in comparison with the conventional air fresheners, and their future opportunities in the coming competition. Now I want you to conduct a research about any of the uncommon topics or ideas mentioned in this section. For example, you can conduct a research about the International Environment Project Olympiad or the hazards of the chemical mixture found in conventional air fresheners. Now let's go to the tax questions. Question number one, what are the differences between the cow dung air freshener and the conventional air freshener? Question number two, for what tops do you think the author included a quote from one of the inventors in paragraph five? Question three, hypothesize what might happen if the cow dung air freshener were to win a prize at the International Environment Project Olympiad in Istanbul, Turkey? Question number four, it's the essential question of the whole unit. Are inventions realized through inspiration or perspiration? What you've learned about invention and inventors from reading this art? The answer to number one, the cow dung air freshener costs us about half as much as the conventional air freshener that we use in our houses. It is also free of toxic material that are known to cause disease. Question number two, by including a quotation from Dewey Nello Iza, the author places importance on the accomplishments of the young inventors. The quotation also helps to clarify the student's vision for the product. Question number three, the answer says, it's because the two inventors might become a role models for young Indonesian girls interested in science, technology, or business. Question number four. All of the ages can be inventors and can find success creating unconventional solutions to problems. And here we come to the end of this selection. Today we've talked about a selection called Fermented Cow Dung Air Fresheners. Wins two students top prize, top science prize. Uh, we know we knew about what is a web article. We knew about uh, some information about the author, Kimberly Mark. Uh, we knew who and what this selection is about. What did they accomplish? How different is the conventional air freshener from uh, the one that they created, they invented in this selection? We've also answered the comprehension check questions and the text questions. And here we come to the end of this lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.